When I first started working on Chasing 600, I was actually sitting in the waiting room of my doctor's office, editing it on my cell phone, waiting for test results. It was supposed to be simple. A series of short videos from my YouTube channel covering my competition footage. Needless to say, when I went into the doctor's office and got the results of those tests, everything changed. It's just that chapter one had already been almost entirely completed at that time. So I just took uh, some of the footage from the doctor's office, added it to the beginning of the end of what I had already put together on my cell phone and released it. Well, the reality is, is that even though I didn't know it at the time, this was not intended to be just competition footage. This was always meant to be my story. I am... Uh... I lift weights, and okay. I mean that's that's, that's kind of what I do. Yeah. Um, For your job. Well, no, it's okay. kind of what keeps me sane. Okay. Uh, if we're talking about a four to six week, um, yeah, that obviously means no competing or anything for a couple of months, right? <laughs> For those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Ken Bray, and I'm a 45-year-old Masters 1B Raw Powerlifter in the United States of America Powerlifting League, and this is my story so far. Powerlifting is a strength sport in which athletes are given three attempts to successfully perform a squat, a bench press, and then a deadlift. The highest weights lifted in each of these is then added together to produce that athlete's total. There is no subjectivity and there are no style points. At the end of the day, the athlete with the highest total is the athlete that wins. Here's 77.70. All right. I fit into my wedding My game plan was simple. Stay conservative. Since this was the first meet of a seven meet season, I didn't want to risk burnout or injury early. So I opened with a 402 pound squat. The squat felt easy and light. But when I look back, I had received two red lights. And when I questioned the judge, she said I hadn't gone deep enough. The missed first attempt caused me to change my game plan. And so instead of going for an intended 425, I went for a more conservative 408.
Okay, before you get any funny ideas about the judge, the USAPO Technical Rulebook section of personal equipment covering briefs and undergarments clearly states that briefs with legs such as shorts, boxer shorts, boxer briefs, and bikes or cycling shorts are not allowed in competition. And just for the record, I was wearing tidy whities or more specifically, no slacky blackies. Even though I had committed the cardinal sin of competitive sports and allowed the judge to get into my head and distract me, I somehow convinced myself that I should jump by 31 pounds and go for a final attempt of 440 pounds in an effort to make up ground. It didn't work. You know, I think if, if we do the surgery in April, I think probably by June you could go back. June or July, you could be back. And it'll be too much to wait until June to do the surgery? Um, I, so that's what, three months from now? Yeah. It might be okay. Okay. Ken Bray, you're up. David Hoot Gibson's on deck. John Cole, you're in the hole. The bench press is the lift that I'm usually most concerned about. But after having barely survived the squat, I was surprisingly at ease going into my first attempt. For my second attempt, I honestly didn't know what to expect. After all, 270 pounds was 5 pounds below my personal best. So I thought my shoulder would hurt and then it would feel heavy. But when I pressed it, it felt surprisingly light. So much so, in fact, that I disregarded the judge's order to re-rack it and placed the bar back too soon. That earned me three red lights. No less, two to one. All right, thanks for the commands. Even though I failed my second attempt, it was on a technicality, and I was sure I had the strength. So I made the risky move to jump by 11 pounds and go for a personal record. Good left, three white lights. That's what we like to see. I'm not really sure kind of how aggressive competing is. Uh, it's, Can it's you pretty... take a time off from it or uh, you're like I... out for the season kind of thing? thing, 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 thing. After a long, stressful day, I had finally arrived at the deadlift, my signature move, and I could finally get the distractions and the judges out of my head. Or so I thought. My second attempt of 584 pounds is the highest amount I've ever attempted in a competition. And if I were to make it, it would be a new state and American record.
Bar loaded. All right, bar loaded for Ken. Make some noise, ladies and gentlemen. This is a monster pull. 628 pounds for this young man. Third and final deadlift. As I casually walked out to the bar and then stood there looking down at it, I was attempting to focus every ounce of energy that I had left in my body on picking it up and locking it out. But on this day, 600 pounds would escape me and the chase officially begins. In the men's Raw Masters 1B, 83 kilo, first place finisher is Ken Bray. Yep. Yeah. I don't remember very many details from that Monday morning in the doctor's office, but one that does stand out is the fact that after she matter-of-factly, almost casually, delivered the results of my biopsy to me. Um, and you have intermediate breast cancer, so I think that we should address it sooner rather than later. I paused and I thought to myself, she just fucking told me I have cancer. <laughs>